Hello guys, Oren Turned on the camera today because I'm getting my hair done. Better? Okay, I think this is better. But the hair that I'm, well, what I'm getting done today is called the Magic Straight Perm. And I'm honestly a little nervous because I don't know how it's gonna end up turning out. And I haven't done this in over like 15 years. Um, the last time I got a magic straight perm is probably when I last lived in Korea in third or fourth grade or fourth grade actually And as you can see I was not blessed with the Asian hair the super silky Asian hair. I've never had it It's just so time-consuming that I have to straighten my hair every day because this does not look presentable at all And this is just my natural hair after I blow dry it if I do air dry it it does look a little more like wavier but like air drying your hair takes so long in general, so it's not good to like go go to sleep with just air dried hair because it's not completely dry, so your hair smells bad, you get dandruff, etc. So I always blow dry my hair and this is what my hair looks like 90% of the time and I don't know, I just don't feel my best like going out like this. I always straighten it, so that's another additional damage to my hair. So I decided to get a magic straightening perm, which is basically a perm that straightens your hair. The hair salon that I'll be going to is called Park Jun, and they have many branches in Seoul. And the one I'm going to is in Myeongdong, so I'll take you guys with me. I just finished and I'm obsessed. Oh my goodness. I love how like it's stuck to my head. <laughs> I have every single thing on this table <laughs> Except for this one because I brought it back to the US to give it to my mom and she loved it I'm going to Daegu after this lunch to visit my family and my people, so I'm very excited. Wow, this is pretty good. 
Also, I don't know if it's because of um, the Greek yogurt that I've been eating, but I've been getting a lot of breakouts on my skin, so I stopped eating Greek yogurt. Maybe I haven't been drinking enough water. Maybe it's the Greek yogurt. So I'm trying to get back on the health conscious Priscilla. And because I've been taking tennis lessons, um, I kind of stopped going to the gym, so I feel like I'm losing a lot of muscle weight. So when I go back to Seoul tomorrow, I'm gonna start heading back to the gym. Um, so yeah, I feel like this month I've been pretty busy, but also letting myself go a lot in a lot of ways. So it's time to pick myself back up. I don't know how the lighting looks here. It probably looks super orange or yellow, but I'm gonna do a little straightening session. Um, I'm not gonna straighten my full hair. I think it looks pretty good right now, naturally. And I'm so obsessed with, I know, although my hair got fried from the magic straightening perm, this, like the top here, I did not do anything to it. And I know it doesn't look anything like different or spectacular, but for me, my hair does not look like this naturally without straightening it. So the fact that I don't have to straighten it and it looks like this is just so satisfied with it. I literally want to just chop off this much, then my hair would be super soft and healthy, but it's just too short, so I gotta deal with it at the moment. This is my absolute all-time favorite hair straightener. Recently, when I went back to the US, I didn't have a working straightener, so I just bought one from Marshalls. Um, I think the brand was Kai, Chai, Chai, I don't know, C-H-I. It was brand new, but it was making my hair feel very like crinkly at the ends. So I ended up returning that, and they did have Vodana on Amazon, so I ordered one. Um, so I used that in the US. So yeah, this is my favorite flat iron. It's more on the expensive side, but it's definitely worth it. It's good for now. I'm like feeling the back right now and I don't feel any like crinkly damaged hair. So I think this is good. I'm not gonna do any more heat. I just put on makeup and I am on my way to Dongseong. I don't know if you guys can see from here, but this apartment right here is called Central Palace and I used to live there. Um, this was back in 2007 and 2008, right before I moved back to the States. The weather in Daegu is about, I don't know, it's a couple degrees higher than it is in Seoul. Um, and it's not cold at all. There's no like cold air right now, but I see some people wearing like puffer coats. So I'm a little confused. to Seoul being crowded everywhere, this just feels really nice. Something special that I did this month was go to Daegu. Um, the reason why I visited is because it was my Harabaji's 
fifth death anniversary. In Korean, we call death anniversary a uh, kid. So kid is the day that my Hanaboji passed away. And I can't believe it's been five years. Um, and it was actually my first time attending. This year, since I'm here, I decided to go visit Daegu to, you know, say hello to my harmony and also attend the Chesa that we had. And it was really special. I basically just went on behalf of my mom. Um, and I was able to see my cousins who I haven't seen in years. Like, probably over 10 years, which is so crazy. Like, I didn't even recognize uh, my cousin when he walked in because he just looked so different. And it's just so crazy to see, like, your little cousins that you grew up with, that you played with, like, all of a sudden, like, becoming, like, grown-ups. I'm sure my harmony really appreciated her grandchildren all coming together and just, you know, spending the quality time um, and just catching up with each other and it was really, really fun. I just love going to Daegu every once in a while because, you know, when you're in Seoul for too long, I just feel like the city life really, like, makes you feel drained. But visiting outside of Seoul just makes you, like, recharge and when you come back, you're just like, ah, it's good to be back in Seoul. <laughs> So when I went to Daegu, I also went to Zara and I tried on two pink sweaters. One was a very like warm pink and one was a cool pink. And I still don't know what my personal color is. So I don't know if I'm cool tone or warm tone. And when I was getting my hair done, I asked the Anni who was doing my hair and she said that she thinks I'm cool tone. And when I tried on these pink sweaters at Zara, one was like a really warm, soft pink. And the other was a cool pink, which is this one. And when I recorded myself, I can definitely tell the cool pink looked better on my skin complexion. So now I'm actually convinced that I am cool tone. And the Anni who's doing my hair said she thinks I'm cool winter. So it's more like cool, vivid colors. Um, so I don't know, maybe I should get my personal color checked. Let me know if you guys are curious on how they do personal color checks in Korea because I would love to know myself too and share with you guys how the process is and yeah, just how they check your personal color. Something that I also love about Daegu is that Daegu has top tier Taizo and Olive Young. Like their Taizo is so fun to like just roam around. There's so many things. I feel like a lot of stores in Seoul are so like jam-packed and it's a lot smaller because there isn't that much space um, for one big store. So a lot of times it's like the shrunken version of it. Um, but in Daegu, they have a lot of Taisos and they have a lot of Olive Youngs that are like super big. So something that I saw at Olive Young that was really interesting is that now they have a whole section for Derma Cosmetics. Derma means of the skin and cosmetic refers to appearance. So a product that is Derma Cosmetic combines a dermatological action with a cosmetic action, therefore bridging two unique market segments. Every time I share skincare products or skincare brands with you guys, a lot of my male audience ask, you know, is it good for men? Like, can guys use it? Derma Cosmetics tend to be gender neutral and Derma Cosmetics has evolved both as a substitute and to complement medical recommendation. So when I hear Derma Cosmetics, I basically think of something that a dermatologist would prescribe me, but the products that are being sold as Derma Cosmetics, you don't need a prescription for it. I find Derma Cosmetics to be really, really good for people who have extremely sensitive skin like me. I've shared with you guys how sensitive my skin is. I thought I had eczema, but it turns out that my skin reacts immediately to products that my skin doesn't like. Unfortunately, I don't know exactly what that is. Because Derma Cosmetic products are scientifically formulated, they offer high quality and effective skin solutions. Personally, I feel like they are designed to stand out from other generic skincare brands, um, especially for people with super sensitive skin like me. I believe in Korea, Derma skincare products became really, really popular because of the pandemic when a lot of people were suffering with mask knee and maybe even before that because of the mizemonji and how that affects the skin. A lot of people have experienced skin problems. So rather than using generic skincare products, they tended to use more like medically formulated Derma cosmetic products, which probably worked better for their skin. So now that we briefly talked about what Derma cosmetics is, the brand I'm going to introduce you guys today is called 
Hushidim. So if you know a Korean person and you ask them, hey, have you ever heard of Hushidin? They will know. It is the nation ointment. It's, it's something that if you're Korean, you cannot not know about. Hushidin has many different skincare lines, but what we're going to be talking about today is the Derma Trouble line. This product line effectively improves comedonal acne by managing and preventing both internal and external factors through a three-step approach. First, we have the Hushidin Derma Trouble Bubble Cleanser. Then we have the Hushidin Derma Trouble Balancing Toner. This line provides advanced acne and trouble care with patented Hushidin Tea, which is great for soothing, moisturizing, and gentle exfoliation and even access sebum control. And last but not least, we have the Hushidin Derma Trouble Balancing Serum. It also uses the Flexum Absorption Technology, which is a patented acne solution backed by 42 years of research. This specific product line effectively improves comedonal acne, which are whiteheads and blackheads. When I went to Daegu the other day, this was in the Olive Young Derma Cosmetic section, and of course, I'm not going to share with you guys something that you can't even get your hands on. These are actually available on Amazon, so of course, I just had to let you guys know. One of my biggest skin impurities and something that I don't like about my skin is how much blackheads I have. I know it's not something that you can see because I don't like zoom in on my face, but when I see myself in the mirror without makeup on, it really does bother me a lot. So it's really important for me to use products for my pores that balance my pH level and something that's also very hydrating because I have really dry skin. But without further ado, let's take this makeup off and I'll show you guys how I apply these products. Welcome to my bathroom. Um, I'm about to wash off my makeup. I put on this really ridiculous roller on my hair. <laughs> so I tied my hair back and we're gonna move eye makeup first and then I'm gonna use a oil cleanser to melt off my makeup first. So technically we're gonna do a double cleanse. Makeup is off and I just wash my face with water. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Hushi Teen Derma Trouble Bubble Cleanser pump it out like this and it's just bubbly and I'm gonna first rub it on my hands and apply directly on my face. I love this cleanser because it's hydrating, it's super easy to use. I get a lot of blackheads around my t-zone area and I get a lot of whiteheads on my chin area so I'm gonna really do a thorough cleansing by rubbing it into sensitive t-zone and chin area. Well, I'm just gonna wash it off with water. Here is my clean skin and it's most important that you wash your face thoroughly after cleansing. Um, if you don't wash your face enough, like no matter how good the product is, you're gonna break out. So make sure when you wash your skin, you really do a thorough wash. Skin is feeling very refreshed. So we're gonna wipe. And what I really love about this cleanser is that, you guys, the soul water really dries out my skin. It's like how clean my face looks. What the heck? Wow. Something about the soul water is just so dry on my skin. Maybe because back home in the US, we use well water. So it's a lot more like moist, I feel like, which is weird to say about water. But the soul water is just so dry for my skin. I had a really rough winter last year because my skin was just so dry like even like the products just were not even helping but i really love how this cleanser does not dry out my face like i just towel dried my face and it's still not dry so we love that and now we're gonna go ahead with the toner now we're gonna use the derma trouble balancing toner and how i like to use the toner is first first i like to do a little cotton test to see if I thoroughly wash my skin. I'm not seeing anything on the cotton pad right now, so this is a good sign. Just so moisturizing, like even just from that. And then I'm just gonna do another layer of toner and pat it into the skin. And if you feel like your skin has been super dry, if you go to the dermatologist, they will say apply thin layers of uh, toner. So you really do have to put in so much effort, but it really, really, really works, you guys. So this is technically my third layer, and 
It really helps lock in that hydration into the inner layers of my skin. Pat, 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 pat. I feel like an ajuma, Korean ajuma. <laughs> the level of hydration my face feels right now feels like after applying serum, which I didn't. So just from the toner, my skin feels already super hydrated. I don't find in a lot of toner products, but this one is super moisturizing. After toner, now we're gonna do the Derma Trouble Serum. Apply some onto my hand right here. And we're just gonna work our way in. And I know a lot of people believe that the last step of your skincare routine is the most important, but it's most important to build your way in from the start. So apply thin layers from the start, lock it in, then apply the next layer, lock that in, and then the next layer. It doesn't matter how much layering you do, if you don't give yourself enough time for the product to absorb into the skin, then it basically just will clog your pores. I know it's just super annoying having to wait, but it really does help um, your skin actually get what the products are made for. So it doesn't matter if you use good products, if you don't let it absorb into the skin deep enough, then you're just gonna clog your pores. Now my face feels like it's at the moisture level after applying a cream, but I didn't apply a cream, I just applied serum. So I feel like products here just skip a step where it gives you so much moisture, which is exactly what I need. Especially with winter coming, you want to make sure your skin isn't dry. My face, guys, do you guys see that glow? I just saw myself in the mirror and I just pressed record again just to show you guys how glowy my skin is right now just from toner and serum. It's kind of crazy. And for the cream, I'm going to apply a very small amount because my skin feels already super moisturized, so I don't need to like layer on a full like heavy thick cream. This is my full skincare routine. I really do not do the extra 10 step skincare. I like to keep it very simple and again, the most important thing is make sure you thinly layer products onto the skin. You never want to stack it on top of each other and end up clogging your pores. Apply one layer, give it some time, pat everything in, then add the next layer and pat everything and repeat. So now I'm going to take the roller out. And that's the end of my skincare routine and my skin is ready to rest. All right, you guys, this concludes today's video. Again, these products are available on Amazon and if you have really dry skin and you've been looking for something that's moisturizing and non-irritating, or if you have comedonal acne, or if all of the above applies to you, I highly recommend checking these out. I feel so blessed that I get to share with you guys such amazing brands um, that actually work really well. And I'm constantly testing products to see if it's actually worth sharing with you guys. And I'm not someone who, who just shares something that's like mid, but I really do a thorough testing on my own skin. Again, I have really, really sensitive skin that flares up and there's a lot of trial and errors. There are a lot of brands that I turned down because my skin flares up and it'll be so wrong if I shared that with you guys and lie to you guys saying that it's good when my skin flared up. So the only products that I share with you guys are products that actually, actually work. So again, if you have really dry skin and you've been looking for something that's moisturizing or if you have comedonal acne and you've been wanting to work on your skin texture, Texture. I highly recommend the Hushidin Derma Trouble line. These are on Amazon, so make sure you check them out. And thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and I'll be back with another video very soon. I think my next video is going to be a vlog, so stay tuned for my next video. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. Annyeong! Bye! Love you guys!